in the games. We're going to skip right past the intro. Thank you for watching those ads. Uh, we'll introduce the players because i got to re-pull up the message. Someone just donated a huge chunk of money to our Homestar Cup fund. So, uh, without further ado, spotting here towards the top spawn location is going to be the Blue Terran player from Team Liquid. Representing that blue this time around, it's Bunny. The bottom position now is the red Protoss. It's Mana. And uh, a two hundred and fifty dollar donation. What? That <laughs> that Ooh. blows everything out of the water so far today. Uh, thank you so much. The message. It's coming up weird though. What? PayPal from the. I've never. I, I don't know. PayPal is being weird. So I don't know. I'm gonna. You know. I have faith in humanity, and I have faith in our fans. I'm gonna assume, even though PayPal's flagging it all weird, I'm gonna assume it's not fishy, okay? But $250 coming from one Casperol One. This is longtime lurker who really wants to see you at Home Story Cup. Ad block reactivated for 10 months. Just kidding. <laughs> 250 bucks though. Holy hot damn, sir! Thank you. Or madame. Or madame. Another human being. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta do math though. What's 415 plus 250? 65. 6, 655. 665. Oh my god, if someone does $1, it'll be 666. Six. You said 40. <laughs> Whatever. No, we are anyway. $665 out of 2000. Awesome. That's cool. That's almost halfway there. That's mind blowing. No, that is really awesome. <laughs> uh, but okay, so as far as the game goes this time around, Buddy's gone for the faster CC and he's following it up with additional racks. Now he's only gone for two without gas, which has me a little bit worried because normally you see three if it's going to be gasless. And with Mana having gone Stargate's two games in a row, Buddy's playing a little bit risky to hope that there's not an Oracle a third time coming. I guess he got yeah. a bit of an SCV scout to check, so Upgrade. seeing only Upgrade. one gas, he's kind of in the clear for now. Yeah, one gas in the Nexus usually means that a 14cc double racks opener is going to have you enough Marines to take care of, I think, both command centers just barely. Um, but but maybe not if they bulk up two oracles really quickly, you know, if they do that little... little scumbag move but it's not a target at all i mean the last two games he did go for yeah. a stargate and here he goes just, go, just goes for a robo i mean going for three racks is like this isn't bad you're gonna have you're gonna want these anyways for production uh the only thing this does do is put you in a defensive stance instead of an offensive stance you're not dropping window mines you're not rushing something weird like a unconventional banshee across the map it is a situation though where uh you know buddy's got a great defense oracles won't touch him stalkers won't poke up that ramp but he also can't go anywhere with it Let's not forget on a map like this too, two bases are covered by what is essentially one force field. So without medevacs even further, it's going to be harder for Bunny to maneuver around the map. Yeah. So he gets the bunker after last game. Just don't want to don't wanna deal with that counterattack anymore. <laughs> He's still Marine King, so i Oh yeah, of course, of course. But already, by just by going for a not factory opener, you are generally less likely to die to something like that. Because like, they really... Like a three gate, blink stalker, or four gate off of two base. Like it's still scary, even if you uh, have perfect production and whatnot. It's just not as scary as if you had gone for factory, because uh, that just doesn't give you a lot of like, units just straight up, and they're usually bad units too, like Hellions and and Wood Mines only maybe get one good shot. Better uh, safe than sorry. Yeah, and there we go. Um, Cas Cas Pearl uh, one or one Cas Pearl one in chat says. Uh, the money's being transferred on Monday, so I guess it fight as an e-check or something instead of a donation? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's right, so... It is, two years, I've never seen that as all, well. so I was a little bit like, really? what? Yeah, I didn't uh, I didn't understand what, why PayPal was bringing it up all weird, but... Uh, oh. Like I said, I choose to look at the best... I'm, I may be gullible this way, but I like to think of the best in people, so... Casper One, thank you so much for your donation. And, yeah, I have uh, no idea how e-checks work, but I think I've had one of those. Man, this would be so cool. Like Take TV, like they don't know we're do like we're like they they know that we're advertising the Indiegogo. Um, I don't think they necessarily know that we're gonna try and just get this big. They're just gonna have like a random two thousand dollar donation. And they're like, what the fuck? <laughs> but of course, that's that's the donation on behalf of everyone here at Bay Street TV, right? That's uh, to get casters over to Germany. Yeah. 
Well, uh... Blink's being chronoed. Although I don't imagine Mana's gonna go for a big crazy blink all in. Uh, if he does, it's risky. It's There's a reason you don't see it happen so much anymore. I, I like the idea of him chronoing at the blink more in terms of trying to catch drops and be able to maneuver around. But if he decides to take this offensive, I really don't think it's gonna work out for him. Mm. That's a lot of Marines too, by the way. Holy moly. <laughs> Bunny, you know it's not a mono battle, right? It's uh, especially surprising since a lot of PvPs end up at least going to, and it probably still will go to this point, but a lot of Marauders. It's a lot of Marines add damage, but they just they can't survive Colossus shots, so just more and more Marauders are being added in. You know, not just two tech labs, but, you know, like almost all four. <laughs> and maybe like one, maybe one reactor. That type of heavy commitment. Uh, but taking the gold base on location too, I mean, it's, it's always ballsy to take on location thirds. I still can't get over right. that's become like the, the meta, the meta, but to take the gold base, I guess it's, it's kind of secret, so you're getting away with it. Well, it's not like that, but it's just uh, taking a gold. I, I don't know that there's as big a priority. Okay, so Mana's just got this with the Observer, but I don't know that there's as big of a priority for Terran. And again, this is me kind of not calling OP as towards the race or anything like that, but you've got mules, a natural, a regular story base. Will work out fine as far as income goes a lot of the time. The gold base, obviously you won't need to mule, which is nice, but still, uh, this is, it's scary. It is a very exposed base. Yeah. Yeah. It's, um, I don't know, as far as, like, the actual, like, layout of the base, it's not too much worse, though. You know, like, on, uh, other maps, uh, I guess Capstation Station, kind of. But anyways, like, you took a gold base, not only would you be expanding towards your opponent in, like, a, you know, not-so-great way, but you'd also be taking, like, a pretty poor position, like, a more chokes or something like that, so Force Wields would be easier, Colossus would get better shots. But even at the, this gold base, it's still kind of wide open. Oh, no. I think if he was prepared for this, he would have done okay. If, if he doesn't bring SCVs back to prepared, I think he might lose it. Yeah. At oh, the God, same time, I though... And she had a base trade. Oh, well, I was gonna say, sacrifice this command center for for Mana being 100% out of position, maybe worth it. Mm -hmm. I mean, when it comes to tearing down buildings, no one does mm -hmm. it better than Marauders. The command center did, in fact, go down, and the base trade is a go. <laughs> oh my God, that was so sick! Those Colossus were those Colossus might have gone up there. That would have been amazing. I think I think he was anticipating that because it's very common to have yeah. them. Just Cliff like that, but uh, staying on top of the one Colossus at home. Time Warp trying to keep it alive. Just one or two more shots. It goes down. Now there's only a photon overcharge for defense, so it is <laughs> full of base trade. One of those Widowmice taking up most of the stalkers. New one goes down. Another Widowmice shot goes the off. Are amazing. He's got it, but he's got it. Dude, that was sick. That's like that's like when you realize a base trade's happening in TVT, so you leave all your tanks.